In a bid to follow Sunnah and revive hope, Councillor Aziz Dabagay, with the support of Standard Chartered Bank and the Gandhi Red Cross Society, has organized Iftar to feed hundreds of patients and their families at the Edward Francis Small Teaching Hospital. It all started about three years ago when we arrange and distribute iftar meals for patients that are admitted at the RVTH, that is the main referral hospital in Banjo. We have tried it a couple of years ago and it was quite a success, but due to the COVID, we couldn't get access to the hospital even though we wanted to come. But because of the restrictions, we had to wait and uh, we are happy that this time around we are granted the time and the access to come and do something small with the hospital. I was engaged by well-wishers and donors who saw the initiative some of whom don't even live in Banjo or not necessarily from my are not from my ward but they are just good Samaritans who saw this initiative some donated cash some donated kind some brought water some had bakeries and donated bread and all those other stuff so we brought everything together the community also those living here and all over Banjo the city and even outside Banjo came, we met here and uh, organized everything. Together with the community, we also prepared something here and then we went to the hospital. Also in uh, partnership with Standard Chartered Bank, who from the first time that we did it, expressed an interest to partner with Aziz to give back to the community as well. That's why they were here today again. Today we are here partnering with the Banjul community just to give it back. And this aligns with the bank's um, sustainability uh, agenda. It aligns with the bank's social responsibility as well. We didn't feel that in this holy uh, month of Ramadan, where we are bringing our fast almost to an end, we didn't feel to be part of the community and just to come and give iftar to um, the, 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 the patients in, in the hospital. They prepared a lot of parcels. Um, I think they did around close to 200 this time. Um, with meals and fruits and all the other stuff. We engaged the Gambia Red Cross Society, the Banjul branch. They also came with lots of volunteers. We have been partnering with the communities of Banjul because this is one thing that the Red Cross does. Like every year, Korite, or during the Ramadan, we organize such kind of activities. So that is why when we were called by the councillor to come and give a hand in this activity, it was not a surprise to us because it's something that we do. We hope to have done it a little bit uh, bigger, better, but as you can see, the hospital is partially under construction or renovation. So that's why we just try to control the number of donors and the number of people that come in to support. It's um, getting quite more interesting, you know, it's getting more broader, you know, and um, it's getting, you know, the recognition is getting higher with every year. So the organization is really um, top notch. So it's really an order once again to come, uh, but uh, to, not only to come and attend, but this time to attend in a different capacity, you know, um, being, uh, you know, a stakeholder, you know, and everything. So uh, we hope uh, we'll also use uh, our influence and, um, you know, in making sure that um, we do whatever we can in making, making it uh, a more um, broader in, in the years to come. Looking at this activity today, you can see it is a very successful one. Like um, the bank coming 
partnering with the council or the community and inviting the Red Cross to come and help in the distribution, it was a success. So this shows that humanity is everywhere. And even during this Ramadan, we are showing humanity to the communities, especially coming to the hospital here today, giving out food that uh, the patients here, they will help themselves on. We are happy that it, did, it went well in our view. So, and we hope that the patients are happy that we were able to do something for them. It's a laudable effort. We are in Ramadan and uh, definitely I think um, what you've given will go a long way in trying to share and care for the patient. This is the holy month of Ramadan. It's expected that we expect other institutions definitely to really follow and uh, definitely do as you've done for our patients. They are really happy and even the staff of the hospital that are on duty at this moment. As they take the iftar and whatever prayer they have for, for, for the bank, the bank is here and, and, and the bank has been part of the community and it's also going to affect the, uh, the, 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 the bank positively. So that is why um, today's standard charter staff has volunteered actually to actually come and come and actually partner with the Banjil community to give gift to um, the, the patients in this uh, hospital. I really thank and each and everyone that has um, contributed in this one way or the other, especially to also, apart from the organizers, the also the, the donors as well, from far and wide, from both home and abroad, we are also able to make this even a possibility as well. Uh, we send, send, send our thanks to them as well. We had a very, very, very good outing because seeing the faces of the patients we were able to serve, they were very happy and appreciated the efforts we did today. What a fantastic effort from a young determined counsellor and his helpers. After this short break, we will take a look at how most citizens intend to celebrate it. Gold Property is one of the leading real estate company in Gambia. It's a young dynamic company owned by a Gambian. And yes, we said it as the name goes, Innovative Property Solution. After this long fast, I want to take a break. I want to thank God. I want to thank Allah for uh, his message. I want to just be quiet. I just want to be quiet and just reflect on life and just reflect on what life holds for the rest of the year. I intend to celebrate it with my family, though I will be at work in the afternoon, as, as, as usual. First thing in the morning, wake up and take a shower and go for prayers, then come back, spend the rest of the day with my family, have lunch, chat and go to visit some of my friends and families. For me, it is a family affair. It is a time for thanking Allah for granting us the blessing of witnessing the Ramadan. And uh, we just try to do our spiritual reawakening. Every year, um, I intend to fast um, after praying it to um, join my um, dad and my mom and my other siblings in going around and visit our family members. It's a tradition in our family, which we do uh, annually. Big Mubarak to all our customers and clients. All the Muslims in the Gambia, I'm saying Eid Mubarak to all of you. Eid Mubarak wishes to everybody, to your team that has come, shared an interest to come and participate with us. I hope that we will have a very successful Eid and Eid Mubarak to everyone who is listening to this. Just wish everybody um, a happy Eid and may we witness many, many more ones to come um, in good health, um, with progress and prosperity in anything that we endeavor ourselves to.